How dumb can the guy be? Yeah, if he thought that, he's very dumb. Let's say Obama was able to get his policy wish list and there wasn't any pushback from Republicans or Democrats in Washington. What would be his ultimate vision for America? I think Obama's vision for America, first of all, would be that we would no longer be the world's, so, world's sole superpower. Why? Because to him, we are on a pedestal. This is a symbol of colonial arrogance. Um, we're dominating the world. So I think Obama would like to take us off the pedestal. He'd like to see us be just another country, similar to Finland or Greece. Um, he, and this, he would like to see us have a much smaller leadership role in the world. And that's why he's pulling us out of Iraq, out of Afghanistan. I don't think he's particularly cares. I don't think Obama is particularly concerned whether Iran has a nuclear weapon. Why? Because from his point of view, if you look at the Middle East, he says, look, how many Muslim bombs are there over there? None. How many Jewish bombs? A few. How many Western bombs? A lot. So Obama's energy is devoted to reducing America's nuclear arsenal. So again, when you look at his policies and you plug in the anti-colonial idea, you say, yes, I see why he's doing that. I see why he's doing that. Otherwise, you've got to keep saying Obama's a fool. Obama thinks that by reducing America's nuclear arsenal, that will set a good example for Iran. How dumb can the guy be? Yeah, if he thought that, he's very dumb. But if, he's, if his assumption is different, if he thinks, I don't care if Iran gets a weapon, I want to reduce America's arsenal, and hey, look at me, I'm really doing that, it's very successful.